is Nicole, a Gary Prepper here. This is a VR for a new guy out there who only has, I believe, 17 subscribers. <clears throat> His name is Plymouth Fens. He's out there in the UK. Um, I heard about him through Doc Inc. Uh, he currently has a giveaway going on for a box, his box of a 72 hour survival kit or a 72 hour kit, period. Um, he does not want anyone to comment that they're in on his video. He would much rather have a VR posted in response and to answer the question of one of your favorite items to have, whether it be a EDC item, an item in your bug out bag, something that you use daily. Um, and I am going to park the car before I show you. There's a big old crane out there. I don't know if you guys can see it. The blue crane. This is the end of my drive down here. Stop to get the mail real quick. Looks like the girlfriend already got it. So, take this time to prop you up and show you one of my favorite items is I think you guys all recognize the symbol there. Yep, that's the Gerber symbol. This little bad boy is a money credit card holder. It's just, pull your cards out there. It looks like this. It's got a sturdy back, sturdy front. But the kicker about it, there you go. Nice little knife there. Stick your finger in it. You got jimping on the top. Even if you want to hold it at the bottom, you got, you know, a finger hold there. It's pretty darn sharp. And it's nice and concealed. It only goes in one way. It clicks back in there. That is an everyday carry item that I use. Stick my money and my credit cards right in there. And you're good to go. So, everybody get out there and check out Plymouth Fens. Seems like a pretty interesting guy. Uh, Check him out, subscribe, like, comment, and hop in on his VR. So, uh, I am a newly subscribed person to him as well. Doc, Doc Inks had some high things to say about him, so I thought I'd check him out, and I'm pretty glad I did. So, alright guys, I'm home now. Everyone have a great evening, and I will see you in the next one. One more thing. I uh, sent a Yahoo message out to Dick at Big Boy Bushcraft because I haven't seen much of him or heard much of him lately and was a little concerned and he replied back to me and said he's just taken a little break from YouTube for a while. You know, everything's been covered and he said probably been covered way better than what he could cover it. And I said that's not what it's about. It's about, you know community i said we'll definitely miss you miss seeing your face and miss seeing your comments so dick is okay but on his trip to ottawa he decided he needed to take a break from youtube for a while so i support his decision but i will definitely miss him so that's it have a good one bye